On this video, we're going to be talking about the blessings of getting clean. Guys, welcome back to another episode here at Sobriety University. On this channel, we talk about addiction and recovery related topics. And on this video, we're gonna be talking about some of the blessings that come from getting clean and sober. So the last video, we talked about some of the curses. That video is gonna be linked down below. And essentially what this video is, is just the exact opposite of that, be linked down below. And essentially what this video is, is just the exact opposite of that video. So everything I said in that actually has a silver lining to it and almost all of them end up being blessings at the end of the day. So we're gonna cover those today. Uh, before we begin, feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below what the blessings that you have experienced in your recovery journey have been. Uh, we'd love to hear about it and get some conversation started. So diving right in, the first one is going to be gaining relationships. Now in the other video, I talked about loss of relationships and often that kind of happens before one gains the relationships that one was looking for. So I know I had experienced that personally. I had to let go of a lot of relationships before I started to attract the ones that were actually healthy for me and the ones that I kind of always wanted while I was using. However, since I was in so much dysfunction, there was no way I was going to attract those. So after a little while of getting clean, I started to have some deeper relationships, could be more intimate with people. Uh, could kind of start to express emotions and find people who are also willing to do that as well. Now, over this journey, a lot has changed as well. So I've definitely outgrown people. People have outgrown me and that's just part of life. However, I'm not so attached anymore. And I know that the next people I meet, uh, they're going to be able to fill some of those needs that maybe uh, the people before could not or vice versa. Because I'm, I of course, after relationships ends, I take inventory and I'm like, okay, how did I mess up in this? What ways could I have been better? And then I get to apply that to the next relationship. So overall, one of the big blessings is that just relationships get better in general, and that's awesome. So the second thing that is a blessing in uh, recovery is that we get to start feeling emotions again. And I know when I was using, I would use substances to suppress anything of pain, anything of discomfort. And of course, that just kind of built up over time and it would always like kind of explode in these you know, like neurotic episodes and cause a lot of drama and stuff. And it was like, okay, this is exhausting. I know other people probably get exhausted by it too. And so one of the big blessings of getting clean was that that hasn't happened anymore. Sure, there like there are stuff times that stuff comes up and and Maybe I'll bottle stuff in a little longer than I like. And uh, however, it doesn't explode into this calamity that destroys relationships, hurts other people. Usually it's just like I get annoyed or something. And, and then, of course, I'm able to go back and, and figure out why I was annoyed in the first place. Anyway, one of the blessings is that I get to feel emotions again. And in turn, I get to feel the positive emotions, which is something that I definitely did not feel when I was using. Maybe I'd feel it for like 30 seconds when I like first took that first hit or that first drink. And then of course, it was just depression and darkness and blackness and, and misery. So now I actually get to have a good day and, and enjoy it, and kind of soak it in a bit appreciate the little moments and get to feel that those little rushes of dopamine and natural dopamine that come up uh, from just life in general and, and that's something that has kept me going on this journey because I know that even if I'm having a day with a, that doesn't have so many positive emotions that it's going to turn around and then the next day or maybe a couple days after I'm going to, have to feel that joy of living again. So that's number two. Uh, number three, so this is the one I didn't talk about in the other video, is money. So when I was using, I was spending all my money on drugs and alcohol uh, or substances, food, you name it. And now that I don't use anymore, I actually have to get to hold down a stable job, get to make money, get to save money, invest some money. And I know money isn't the end all be all of life. However, it does make a big difference in quality of life. And I found that the quality of life has improved drastically because I now have the, like number two, the emotional bandwidth to hold down a job, to create meaningful relationships and not to implode them. So I can therefore move up in like the current job I'm at or, or jobs per, plural and uh, get to go out and do fun things and stuff and not have to worry about pinching pennies and stuff. Now I definitely had to go through that at a time, at a time because I had kind of dug myself into a financial hole. However, since I stopped using, I was able to put focus on that and tackle it in, I guess, in an adult manner and really take care of some of those issues and now kind of get to experience the fruits of the labor. So, uh, of course, money is always something I'm working on and 
being someone with an addictive personality, it can be easy to spend versus saving. So it's definitely still a challenge to save versus spending. However, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just so much better. And I really appreciate recovery for that. So guys, with that, I think that's going to end the video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, feel free to comment down below your blessings of recovery that you've experienced. Uh, have a great day and talk to you soon. Peace.